It's a free space. I want that Koopa. No. <laughs> And now for our feature presentation. Hey folks, welcome to my 8th game of Jeopardy for the PS2, in which so far in this run I have achieved $625,800, and I'm only $74,200 away from breaking $700,000, and it's not at all impossible that I could do it this game. We'll find out what happens as I've got Ben and Mikey joining me. Hey. Howdy. Let's hope I can win a bundle, like I already have. Thanks, Johnny. Put on your thinking caps now, folks, because it's time for another challenging game of Jeopardy. Not only challenging, but exciting. First round categories are as for the Jeopardy round, we're going to deal with three-letter words. Three-letter words. Okay. Land formations. Land formations. Okay. Words of the 60s. Words of the 60s. I wasn't born in that decade. Legal stuff. Legal stuff. Religion. Religion. Final category is West Virginia. Ooh. West Virginia. Mikey might like that one. You know what? I might. I'll definitely like that one. Yeah, West Virginia. Virginia. Awesome. But I'm gonna start with three-letter words for two hundred. A baby bear or a novice reporter. What is a cub? Three little words for 400. A cat might take this short sleep. What's a nap? Very good. Three little words for 600. Mimic, simian sign. What is eight? Right you are. <laughs> Words of the 60s for 200. These two birds represented conciliatory and aggressive attitudes toward war. What are a dove? What are doves and hawks? Right, you are. Words of the 60s for 400. Over to you, player one. Astronaut, meaning a female one of these, has not stood the test of time or space. What is an astronaut? Words of the 60s for 600. In 60s slang, a wahini was a young woman who participated in this ocean sport. What is surfing? Right. Words of the 60s, 800. Logically enough, it's the single word for a topless bikini. What is a monokini? Yes, indeed. Monokini, okay. Layer two, what would be? Land formations for 200. These include cod, horn, and a good hope. What are capes? Correct. Land formations for 400. Layer one. Spanish for cube, there's a grand one. Arizona. What is a canyon? That's correct. Land formations for 600. A small ravine, 
A heavy rainstorm is a washer of it. What is a gully? Definitely. Correct. If you would, player three. Give me religion for 200. Prepared by Maimonides, the 13 Articles of Faith is a summary of the basic tenets of this religion. Welcome back. What is uh, Islam? No, and I am uh, sorry. Not Islam. What is Judaism? Precisely. Judaism, okay. Religion for 400. How low can you go? This place, bordering hell and Catholic theology, is now used to mean an intermediate. Here's what we will do. Limbo. Oh, okay. Religion for 600. Daily double. And she can risk up to 1,000. But she's going to go 600. Here's the clue. Uh, Lee's calling me. There is a god of snowshoes. It's O, the son of this Norse thunder god's wife, Sif. Who was... Right. Yep. I'll tell Lee, I'll, I'll call him in 20 minutes. Andrea del Sardo's 1527 version of this biblical banquet is similar to that of Leonardo, a man he had Oh my god! Uh, what is the Last Supper? What's so funny, Mikey? Oh my god, I gotta scream on this song, you're gonna, you're gonna laugh your asses off. <laughs> Alright. What is the Last Supper? Correct. Religion for a thousand? Layer one, you two. <laughs> the informal name of the religious society of friends, which has orthodox and oh conservative... Oh my gosh. It got you turned on. No, I'm just laughing at you. I'm laughing at you know this stupidity. Here's what we wrote. All right. You can, you can go, you can take it, you can probably figure out what I'm talking about. I think I know who it is. Three little words, 800. A tarboosh resembles the... Stupidity. What is a bank? Correct. Oh, if you would, <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> The Playboy Foundation gives awards named for this free speech amendment to the U.S. Constitution. What is the Fifth Amendment? Have you gotten the West Virginia question yet? Not yet. No? Okay, it's not the Fifth Amendment. What is the First Amendment? Correct. Layer one, your turn. Okay, hang on a second, folks. Sorry. Oh, keep going, keep going. Oh, uh, Lee's messaging me. I need to, um... Legal stuff for 400. U.S. firms operating in the investment field I'm just have to say this. Your mom's a bitch. And she's stupid. Who are the what is the Securities Exchange Commission? Yeah, exactly. Precisely. Check again. Okay. Uh, legal stuff 600. Yep. This is the correct. A will, okay. Legal stuff for eight hundred. Doctors, lawyers, and accountants protect against charges of professional errors. Yeah, exactly. Of insurance. What is malpractice? That's it, 
malpractice. Okay, now I think we're going to go to the West Virginia category. Player two, you choose. All right, go ahead. Yep. For 200. West Virginia for 200. Each summer, Grand View State Park recreates the feud between the Hatfields and this family. Who are the McCoys? West Virginia for 400. Player one, your turn. In 1859, John Brown raided the arsenal of this ferry. Now, West Virginia's easternmost town. What is Harper's Ferry? Yes, indeed. Off of, uh, West Virginia for 600? What is the state nickname of West Virginia? What's the what? What is the mountain state? Oh, the mountain state. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, it's too late now, so. It's all right. I like land formations for 800. From the Latin for all land, the Latin land formations for 800. What is a peninsula? Land formations for a thousand. Player one, your turn. Examples of these include the Carpathians and the Euro. What are mountains? Precisely. Three little words, a thousand. It's a lyric poem usually addressed to a person or thing. What is an ode? And Mikey, did you cut one? And Mikey just shed his pants. Where's the sixties and thousand? Road buses to test integration in interstate travel. Hey Ben, you want to say it? What are freedom riders? And Mikey you just bet. shot in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> West Virginia for four hundred. This capital city shares its name with a popular. What is Charleston? Charleston, West Virginia. Yes. West Virginia for a thousand. Player one, what'll it be now? Of 1853, 1863, or 1873, the year West Virginia. What is 1863? Last clue. And to wrap this board up, this state's Proposition 227 of 1998, opposed bilingual education. What is California? Yes. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, I'm at $9,800. All right, that brings us to the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's see how our players are doing. I'm doing awesome. Player one, you're off a fine start. Player two is 2,200. Player three, 3,800. So player two will go first in double jeopardy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for double jeopardy. Here are the categories for the double jeopardy round. We're going to deal with foreign inventions. Foreign inventions. Films of the 90s. Films of the 90s. I like that one. I like that one. A category about nothing. A category about nothing. Huh. Colors in nature. Colors in nature. Classical music. Classical music. Final category is... Big rivers. Big rivers. Four hundred. Yogi Berra observed that in this sport you don't know nothing. What is baseball? That's it. Category about nothing eight hundred. One, your turn. Spanish for nothing is found in the expression meaning you're welcome. 
What is nada? Can I grab out nothing for 1200, please? In a 1975 musical, Diana sings nothing at an audition for this title line. What is a chorus line? Hang on a second, folks. I'm trying to delete videos of my computer while they're after they're published. Very good. Can I grab about nothing 1600? Daily double. Am I feeling good? Player one, please make your wager now. Well, we'll see. 7,800. Okay, here's the call. Ha, y'all thought I was going to bet it all, didn't you? 20th century U.S. president whose middle initial S stood for nothing. Oh, I could have gone all in on this one. Who is Harry S. Truman? Precisely. Can I go about nothing? 2,000. What is Zen Buddhism? That's it. Okay, foreign inventions for 400, please. You can check the papers. Paper goes back to this country around 105 AD. What is Egypt? Oh, well. Is that it? Anyone? Here's what we were China. For. China. Okay. Four images for 400. For 800, I mean. Excuse me. Today, we'd be dickless without this type of pen invented by Hungary's Ladislao Biro. What is a uh, fountain pen? What is an ink pen? I'll just say fountain, I don't know. Regrettably, no. What is the ballpoint pen? That's it. Oh, ballpoint pen, okay. Okay, player three. Foreign invention for 1200. The turbojet airplane and the diesel engine were invented in this country. What is Germany? Right. Foreign inventions for 1600. Player one, what'll it be now? Daily double. I shall go Player for 8,000. What is France? Yes. Forty inventions for two thousand. The minor safety lamp and the lawnmower were invented by people from this European country. What is England? Right, you are. Player two, what would be? Classical music. For 400. His Eroica Symphony was dedicated to his patron prince Lubkowitz, not Napoleon as first intended. Who is Ludwig von Beethoven? Right. Uh, classical Music 800. Player 1, it's your turn. 1742 Handel Oratorio featuring such choruses as And He Shall Purify, and He Hath Born Our Grief. What is a uh, messiah? Correct. All right, uh, classical music for 1200. After writing this 1829 opera about a marcher, Rossini wrote less than six more works in his life. Who, who is William Tell? Yes. 
Uh, classic music, 1600. This musical is based on the memoir, Anna and the King of Siam. What is the king and I? Classical music 2000. He composed the magic flute. Where's Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart? Very good. Films of the 90s for 400. In a 1996 film, Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes played these star crossed lovers in a modern setting. Who are Romeo and Juliet? Tells the 90s 800. This shock jock exposed his private parts in a recent film based on his autobiography. Who is Howard Stern? Precisely. Tells the 90s 1200. In this 1993 film, Holly Hunter performed the musical sequences herself. What is the piano? Very good. Tells the 9600. Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith played these titled men. Who are the men in black? You bet. Uh, Tells the 90s 2000. In the 1991 satire, Soapdish, this flying nun played the star of a daytime serial, The Sun Also Sets. Who is Sally Field? Exactly. Hey, you're still up, Blair. Colors of Nature. Colors in Nature for 400, please. The wildflower called Bloodroot oozes a poisonous sap of this color. What is red? Precisely. Colors of Nature 800. As director John Waters would tell you, it's a common hue for flamingo. It's pink. Correct. Colors of Nature for 12. As far as we know, this heron of the genus Ardea isn't a people eater. What is purple? I'll go with Colors of Nature for 1600. It's the color of a venomous recluse spider, also called the fiddleback. What is brown? Very good. Colors of Nature 2000. Colorful hornets of the genus Vestula. What is. Uh. Yellow? What are yellow jackets? Very good. Big rivers for 400. On its trip through Egypt, this river has no tributary. What is the Nile? Right. Pick again. 800. While rolling down this river, you'll pass Oxford University and Windsor Castle. What is the Thames? You are. 1200. Lake St. Francis on the border of Ontario and Quebec is actually just a wide spot in this saintly river. What is uh, the St. Lawrence River? Yes. 1600. In 1960, India and Pakistan signed a treaty to deal with control of the waters of this river. What is the Indus River? That's it. 2000. The final answer on this board is the main drain of northern Italy, its delta at the Adriatic Sea has numerous mouths. What is the Po River?
Well done, yes. Fifty four thousand dollars at the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores to see how the players are doing at the end of this double jeopardy round. Oh, I'm doing good. Exceptional player one. Okay. Forty two hundred for player two, forty six hundred for player three. So it's another runaway game. Final Jeopardy time. Once I give you the category, you'll have a few seconds to decide on your wager. Chemistry. Chemistry. Go ahead. Make your I'd like to go for 20,200. Because even if I get it wrong, I'm still going to win. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. Term for a polymer formed by acids reacting with alcohols and for a resulting fabric like that rock. What is polyester? If that's right, I go to 74200 for a total of $700,000 in eight games. Your question, player two, was? You said nothing. How much did you wager? Everything. So you're going to drop to zero. Ouch. Player three, you said... Nothing. Ooh, let's see what that will cost you. Cost you everything. You're going to drop to nothing. Ooh. Player one, what was your question? I said, what is polyester? In a word? Yep. And the wager was? 20200 bringing me up to $74,200. Which results in an eight game winnings total of $700,000. Our winner, who played so very well, player... You heard correctly, $700,000 in eight games. And at night, the game is definitely guaranteed. Alrighty. I'll see you all for my next video coming soon, folks.